Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Buff Games. And in this video, we're going to be looking at 97 rated iconic moments Roberto Carlos. So we have to say thank you to the owner of this account, giving me the privilege to make this review. Sam Yam SG. Thank you, bro. Thanks for letting us use your account to make this review. You are awesome. So we're going to be looking at this man over here, Roberto Carlos. Definitely one of the best free kick takers in footballing history. Now looking at his rating in the left midfield position, it goes to a 91. A 91 and then the right midfield it's at 86. I, I, I felt it should be higher but then, you know, it would be lovely to play him on that right wing and then have him calling shots to the far post. It would just be lovely. DMF, his rating with the club boost is a 92. That's lovely. You can use him as your DMF to, you know, get those long range shots out. Then as a right back, 88. I want to advise you to use him over there. You know, I really, really love this card. And not just because it's a Real Madrid card, but, um, well, it's Roberto Carlos. I mean, his speed, kicking power, I mean, his stamina, it's all good. Then if you take a look at that offensive awareness over there, it's at 84. I'm telling you guys, this is what center midfielders have. Paul Pogba, his base version, I think his offensive awareness is at 84 or something like that. But then that's a very high offensive awareness for a full back. And then ball control of 89, which I believe, I mean, from watching Roberto Carlos's um, matches back in the day, I believe that should be higher. But then uh, you have an 89. A dribbling of 86, I did notice he has lovely fake shots, Roberto Carlos, lovely fake shots. Then next we look at that tight possession of 92 and I can actually confirm that, you know, Carlos isn't so tall but then he's this kind of small but mighty kind of person. And then we come to the section which I love and which I also disagree with Konami, the low pass and lofted pass. Fine, the low pass could be 82 but then his lofted passes. 91 come on i mean that's that's not true at all from watching roberto carlos back in the day even in the game his passes his lofted passes are so 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 extraordinarily accurate and you know some in the game even if your uh, opponent has been in the middle blocking you know the long range pass you want to make to the other side of the field roberto carlos can literally bend the ball around all of those players and still pick out the man you know you you wanted to pass the ball to Now, I'm not hyping this card just because um, it's a Real Madrid card. No, that is not true. We all know Roberto Carlos is a beast and I'm really disappointed with that passing rating, you know, he has over there. Then here you see something funny. He has a finishing of 87 and that is the finishing you see on wingers, attacking midfielders and then you have a fullback having that kind of finishing. Then just look at this series of blue stats, guys. Lovely blue stats, my days. Then we have his place kicking of 99 with or without the club boost and a curl of 99 with or without the club boost. Guys, let's make some noise for Roberto Carlos. Finally, you know, his legend card had a place kicking of, I think it's 93 and I was disappointed about that. His previous iconic moment card had a place kicking of, um, I think, 97 or so. And I was also disappointed. Roberto Carlos is great at dead ball situations. You know, something I noticed about Roberto Carlos, you should be careful when you're using his curlers. I mean, especially his outside foot curling, because he has so much curl on the ball. Like this situation over here, you think that would go in, right? I mean, it, it looks, but then he puts so much curl on the ball. So just be careful about that, guys. And then um, when you have a free kick situation, you could either go with the knuckle ball um, free kick, which is my worst free kick technique, or you could go with his reverse or normal curling free kick. I mean, just enjoy yourself. Then amongst his series of blue stats, he has a speed of 97 and an acceleration of 95. Boom! I mean, he, he's not as fast as Hakimi or who else is that? Uh, Davis. But then, I mean, that's that's very, very fast. A speed of 97, acceleration of 95. You could catch up to lots of, you know, those blazing fast wingers. And he paces up and down the field like, I mean, like he's paid to do it. I do pay him to do that, but then he does it so well lovely his kicking power 99 you know if you ask me his kicking power should be 110 <laughs> but then uh it has been 99 legend card 99 whatever then a jump of 87 yeah i forgot to mention his headers aren't good 
he's heading i think it's 66 but then his jump complements for that 87 like i said he may be small but he is mighty and then uh physical contact of 77 mm, not so great but it's manageable then a balance of 95 you know for someone who isn't a midfielder he his balance is particularly very high a stamina of 96 I told you guys he's like a turbo engine just working all day long on this version of roberto carlos you will see a defensive awareness of 76 a ball winning of 78 and aggression of 92. the defensive awareness i won't lie it's poor for a defender a defender should at least have a, a defensive awareness of 80. but then he he's this kind of um, offensively minded defender so yeah that's why he has that over there now we next thing we look at is um we his weak foot usage of one and an accuracy of two that's the same with beckham but then beckham is right footed well i will not lie to you it's not it's not very comfortable having that i mean defenders they get in this kind of tough situations they may need to use their weak foot but then well that's what we have then for his shooting skills he has long range drive meaning he can call the ball in from long distances then he has long range shooting he can shoot from long distances knuckle shots rising shots acrobatic finishing first time shot he I bet you guys he has better shooting skills than many centre forwards and many um, wingers you see out there. Just look at all of that, the long range drive, long range shooting, um, knuckle shots, uh, acrobatic first time shots. I did not expect to see the first time, well I, I actually it's, uh, it has been there for a while. Then his pinpoint crossing, I mean his crosses are lovely, Roberto Carlos has lovely crosses. But then um the outside foot curler that's his specialty the low lofted pass he he has this way of you know drilling a lofted pass but then making it so low i mean that you know the receiving end doesn't need much ball control to actually control it and then i bet a big question on your minds will be this version and the previous version which is better if you ask me it's definitely this version this version has 99 place kicking and 99 core with or without the club boost this version is fast i mean although the other version is also fast but if you ask me they are very much similar but then this version obviously wins that competition because of his place kicking well here you can see his free kick short free kick rating it's now 99 lovely his previous iconic moment card had it at 98 long range free kicks 93 wow um i did okay yeah because of his passes his passing his lofted passes they are not so high but then yeah then for the corner kicks yeah this is impressive i believe 95 yeah that's quite impressive mm -hmm. and then that's it that's basically what you need to know about this version of roberto carlos should you go for him if you ask me definitely you should he's a great left back and then uh, i know the pack doesn't really have much exciting players in it but then if you can just get roberto carlos trust me you will be made and that will be it for our review on 97 rated iconic moment roberto carlos i hope you guys i really hope you guys did enjoy this review because i did that's it i will catch you guys later